And this one said to look at analyzing f of x equals ln of x minus 5. Okay, so domain, range, stuff like that. Okay, so the first one, domain. So how do you find the domain? Well, things like this are not allowed. For example, like ln of 0, not allowed. ln of a negative number, not allowed. So we have to create the following then because of this, because things like that are not allowed. The ln function is not defined as 0 or negative values. Not just negative 1, but negative 10, negative whatever. It's just not defined there. So you're going to do this. Gonna, you have to make sure that x minus 5, the ultimate value of the expression x minus 5, is always greater than 0. So you got to say x minus 5 is greater than 0 for that reason. Then you just add 5 to both sides. So x, x minus 5 plus 5 has to be greater than 0 plus 5. On the left side, these two will cancel off as usual right here, which means all that remains is x is greater than 5. And this is the domain in inequality form. So this is, let me write this down maybe, in equality form. Often though, we want the domain also in interval notation. So to express the domain in interval notation, you just put 5. And notice that to the left of the 5 is a parenthesis because the 5 itself is not included. Comma, and then any other value, like 5 to the right of 5, like 5.1, 10, 90, 100, whatever, any number to the right of 5 can be plugged in, no problem, which means here you put infinity. Any value beginning at 5 going towards infinity works, but not 5 itself. Why? Why does the 5 not work? Let me stress this, because ln of 5 minus 5 is ln of 0. Again, this here is on the find. 5, this is my input right there, that can not actually be used, you see? All right, so that's done. That's the domain. So let me write this down also, right? Domain and interval notation. That's how you talk about it. What about, for example, the vertical asymptote? Well, that's equal to this 5 right there. So x equals 5. This is equal to the vertical asymptote. I'll just call it the VA, the vertical asymptote. What about the root? In other words, what this is saying is, where do we cross the horizontal axis? Well, that occurs when ln, and then you want x minus 5, that occurs when the value of this expression, x minus 5, is equal to 1. I explain graphically shortly. So that occurs, in other words, you're going to have the following. x minus 5 plus 5 is equal to 1 plus 5, which means x is equal to 6. At x equals 6, that's the location of the root. Why? Well, take a look. Let me show in a graph. It's the best way. So the vertical asymptote, Remember, that was x equals 5. So that means through x equals 5, you draw a line. And again, you see you have to fix this the right way, like that, okay? So draw a line through here, and that becomes the vertical asymptote. You just draw a line going straight down this way. And often, when it comes to these things, we dash them. So it's a dashed vertical line through x equals 5. Okay, so x equals 5. There you go, vertical asymptote. Good. From here. At x equals 6, that's the root, so in other words, you're going to mark a point. We go over to 6, which is here, and that's your root. Let me just sa save this as follows, or write it as follows, in other words. As a point, this is 6, 0. Right there, when 6 goes in, 0 comes out, and you see that in the graph right here, correct? You see? 6 is the input, and the y-coordinate of 0 right here is the output. So let's see, we have the vertical asymptote, we have the root essentially, then we have the domain. We can also talk about the range. So what is the range? For the basic ln function, like this version here, which is shifted by 5 units to the right, really, that's what the negative 5 means. It means take ln and just shift it by 5 units to the right. Let me describe that. So ln of x minus 5 is just like ln of x, just shifted 5 units right the range remains the following, negative to positive infinity. It doesn't get altered in any fashion. So now look very carefully. The rest of this graph I'm going to complete by a computer, I think, because it looks better than I can do by hand. So ln of x minus 5, and you see, that's the graph right there. Very important to understand this, uh, depending on the level to which you zoom in and such, over here, it might begin to seem like the graph and the vertical asymptote line right there, right? they begin to touch or something like that. That's not accurate. They don't touch right here. Let me stress this, right? These do not ever 
touch. In other words, what I mean by that is there is always, always a gap. You cannot cross a vertical asymptote. So if you're doing this on your, at home on the calculator and you're looking at it, what you want to do is do a zoom box and then just zoom in on a portion and you will see that the vertical asymptote and the graph do not intersect. And that's really it for this question. So again, domain, vertical asymptote, root, range, and then understanding the relationship between the graph and the vertical asymptote and also the location of the root. Thank you. I'll see you in another video. Please leave a like. Please subscribe.